Hey guys, today we're going to talk about integers. Integers is just a fancy way of saying positive and negative numbers, also including zero. So negative 5, 0, 10, 15, those are all integers. If it has a fraction or it's a decimal, it's not considered an integer. So there's rules for uh, positive and negative numbers. A lot of people hear, you know, a negative, a negative times a negative is a positive. And that's true for multiplication and division. But when you're dealing with adding and subtracting, it's a different story. So, for example, if I have uh, $16 and I use my debit card and I spend $21, I now have negative $5 in my account. And that's not good. Usually when you have negative money in your account, there's NSF fees, non-sufficient fund fees. It's not a good time. Uh, but if I, uh, if I borrow $5 from my friend, and then on another day, I say, hey, can I borrow $10? He's like, don't you remember I owe you that, uh, you owe me uh, $5? Now I owe them, now I owe them $15. So it works differently than multiplying and dividing. If this were multiplication, yeah, it would become positive. But we're talking about uh, adding and subtracting. There are other examples. Uh, for example, if I, uh, if I owe my friend $20, and then I say, I don't have it all, but I have 17. I'll give you what I have. I give them $17. I now owe them $3. So in when it comes to adding and subtracting, it's not always a negative and a negative make a positive, um, but it just kind of depends on the situation. Sometimes with integers also, you have two negatives in a row. So for example, three minus negative three. In this case, it's a little bit like uh, it's a little bit like a negative and a negative. They are right next to each other, and so then they become a positive. So when you subtract a negative number, you're really adding it together. So another example of that would be uh, six plus negative eleven. So if I add a negative value, then this this kind of changes form. Whoops. Sorry, let me do that over again. So three minus a negative number becomes a positive, and six adding a negative number becomes a negative. So this would be six minus 11, and that equals negative five, okay? Different than the rules for uh, multiplying and dividing. So when you have multiplying and dividing, you have rules like, uh, it's true for multiplication and it's true for division. So um, if I had uh, uh, one negative, if I had three times negative four, I'd have negative 12. Okay. If, if it also works for division, same rules for multiplying are also for division. Eight divided by negative two would equal negative four and negative eight divided by negative two, you have two negatives, you get a positive, okay? So um, fractions, as I like to say, fractions are really division. So in this example, negative 27 over three is really saying negative, a negative number divided by a positive number. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. And these are really important when we start doing algebra problems because uh, you deal with these things a lot. You want to end your problem with a positive variable. Um, so you'll have to know these rules when solving algebraic equations. So if you have a negative number divided by a negative number, you get a positive number. So these rules can be written down and, um, and memorized. Uh, but that's pretty much the long and short of it. Uh, a lot of people know that rule. A negative times a negative is a positive. A positive times a negative is a negative, uh, and so on. And those things are true for multiplying and dividing, but not true for adding and subtracting. Adding and subtracting takes a little thought. Once you understand it conceptually, it's a lot easier. Thanks for watching my video.